Yes, so we will be writing a sentence using we are. Let's first write the date. Today is Wednesday. So let's go slanting down, slanting up, slanting down, and slanting up again. Very good. Have the W, capital W. Let's do the F. One stroke across and halfway around. Right. Do you have that? Let's do the duh. Curly k. And we go up, come back down, bump it. Mm. One stroke down. Touch that blue line. Let's just go back up. Bend the corner down. Bump it. Eh. One stroke across again. And halfway around. Half around, bend the corner and out. Duh. And go up. Come back down. Bump it. Ah. Up, down, bump it. Let's do the Y. Down, curve it. Up. Down, the bump. See you. Now, instead of writing creative writing, we are going to shorten it. We just write the word writing. So let's go, we go slanting down, slanting up, slanting down, slanting up. Let's make the R, R I thing, down. Up, around, down. Eh. Down, curve, bump it, dot and dot. T. Down, curve, bump it, one stroke of course. Another eh. Down. Curve it, bump it, dot on top. Mm. Down, up, around, down, bump it. Well, let's write it halfway around, like the curly. Then we go up. Come back down. Let's do the tail. Very good. That's writing. Now let's draw a picture. We need to have a picture to, to write our sentence about. Now we want to use the word we. Now when we are using the word we, we're not going to draw one person. We have to draw more than one. And you have to be in that picture. So you have to draw yourself. And someone else or yourself and some other people. That's what the word we means. Okay? So let's um, draw a picture of yourself first. Draw yourself. Let's see your head. Now your body. Let's do your legs. Everybody's wearing a short pants today. So let's draw the short pants. That's your short pants there. 
continue your feet. Now let's see your hands. Put in your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And if you're a girl, you draw your hair long. Or if you have short hair, you draw your short hair. If you're a boy, well, you leave it like that. Okay? So here we have. So if you have your hair, you just draw it on top here. If you have long hair, you draw your long hair. Put in your ears. Right, and your fingers. Okay, and we could let we can leave it like that for now. Good. So you've drawn yourself. Now you can draw someone else. Now to make it easier, we can just draw one other person. But if you want to draw some more of your cousins or your friends. You can draw them in afterwards. Now here, let's draw another person here. Let's do their head. Go ahead, do the head. The body. Let's do the legs. This person is wearing short pants. So you draw the short pants on. And the feet, two feet. Hands. Let's put in some eyes and a smile and the hair is, oh, we're forgetting the fingers. Let's put the fingers on. All right. Okay, and that should be it. Right. So, now, they're both smiling. This one has a happy face. And this one has a happy face here as well. So, if they are smiling, how are they feeling? Are they angry? Do you smile when you're angry? No. Are they happy? Yes, they are happy. So, if they are going to write about how they're feeling using the word we what will they say and listening yes they will say we are happy very good so let's write that we one slanting stroke down slanting back up Slanting down and slanting back up. Let's do the E. One stroke across and halfway around. So this is the word we. It means yourself and somebody else or some other person. Good. So we, what did this, how, what were they feeling like? Yes. We are happy. So we leave a space after we and we write the word are. Ah. So we do halfway around, up, down, bump it. Let's do the R. Down, up, bend the corner. The E, one stroke across. And halfway around. So that's the word are. We are. What word is missing now? Happy. Yes, let's write the word happy. One stroke down. Up. Around. Down. Bump it. Let's do the ah. Halfway around. Up, down, bump it. Buh. Huh? 
up. Down. This leg hang down. Back up. Around. And in. Another p. Down. Back up. Around. And in. E. Now the letter on the end is making an E sound. It's this letter. Y, yes. Down, perfect. Up, down, and tail. Now our sentence is finished. Let's read it. We are happy. Read it again. We are happy. Now, because our sentence is, is finished, we have to put a mark on the end for the full stop. Like that, the dot. Doesn't have to be too big, just one dot. It tells everybody that our sentence is finished. We don't have anything more to add to that sentence. So we begin our sentence with a capital letter, like this one, and we end it with a full stop. This mark is called a full stop. So when we read, we don't go on reading. We have to stop right there. Good. So we've written Wednesday, writing, and we are happy. Good job.